Okay, it's time for me to do another creepypasta kind of, uh, commentary. I don't usually do much of these because they are pretty straightforward. I talk briefly about the pasta, and then I just talk about the pasta. I pretty much do a reading of it. Um, this is probably one of my favorite reviews. Probably one of my favorite readings, because, uh, this is a story that was deleted, like, two years prior, and I couldn't find it anywhere until I used it in, you know, that, uh, way back archive machine thing. And I looked up, uh, and the lost episodes file, like, the lost episodes, uh, uh, we call it the URL for it, and I found out that there were different times when it was saved. And I looked in September of 2013, lo and behold, it was right there. And the best part is that the uh, link still works, so, um, yeah, I got the story, and I did a reading of it. Um, what's so interesting about this story compared to, like, I don't know, like, say, Squidward's Suicide? Um... I think what's interesting is that the style of the writing about Carmen possibly killing people is fine. They would do something like that to 2001 with uh, Scott Terman Must Die, and apparently this episode took uh, took place prior, like a year, like no, a year prior. Um, pretty much at this point in time, I was just trying to get more stories out because the prior month I had suffered from burnout. That's why it took so long for me to get that, uh, that, what you call that, creepy pasta reboot video out. And throughout the month of April and May, I was just trying to get more videos out. So, yeah, I'm glad I got this one out, especially. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> I was confused by the name, but I just thought that my DVR had made a mistake. Sometimes they did that. Yeah, actually, DVRs sometimes do that kind of stuff. Uh, it's true, sometimes it happens to me and my DVR, and sometimes it happens to my TV. It'll say that something else is on, like, a uh, regular show, but it turns out that episode Teen Titans Go is on because they forgot to change it. Or they didn't have time, or whatever. So, uh, I think we've all been there. So, it's not too far fetched in this story. Um,. It's just kind of interesting where the story goes. It's not like the typical, oh, I got bullied, so I'm gonna shoot my brains out kind of thing, like in Square with Suicide. It's kind of bizarre. It reminds me of that episode 1% from this show, where everyone's picking and, you know, bullying Car Cartman because he's basically bring everyone else down unintentionally because he's not doing good gym class to the point that he's mentally unstable he's his his uh, stuffed animals are being killed and he's completely he's completely a wreck this is like an early version of that except instead of his stuffed animals mainly being killed and let's face it that was kind of a mind, mind fuck in the episode um, Cartman essentially goes crazy because all this and decides to kill Cartman. No, he decides to kill Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Butters. Which, from what I recall in the story, Butters wasn't even part of it halfway through, so I don't know what Butters did. Almost like he was going to sob. As the seconds passed by, the sound was oddly cut off, absolutely silent. Yeah, it sounds like a bad VHS quality uh, tape to me. Over and over again, there was no crowd noise, just screaming. As the screams progressed, they got even more high pitched and terror filled. Then cut to the video again. I was <laughs> you know, I, I just find funny as does uh, me just doing Korean. It's, it just shows Kenny smacking the shit out of dead animals. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just find that funny. Carmen out of the playground. One of them saying, "Now teach a fast." Teach him what? What did he do? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Carmen does bad things in the show, but you, if you want to torment a character or get back at somebody, you gotta explain what he at least did. Maybe he's delusional. Maybe he doesn't realize what he does is bad. Maybe he's like, maybe he's so delusional he thinks that maybe whatever he does in the show is just completely normal. He doesn't think it's crazy. Maybe he, maybe he thought that killing, te uh, you know, using Scott Terriman's parents and making him the chili was just the normal thing to do when you have a like a rivalry with somebody. <laughs> I don't know. I had to be honest about the episode. I, I don't hate it. I'm just not really a fan of it. Uh, I know everyone's saying it's like the best episode ever because it changed the style of South Park. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Definitely amazing. It was okay to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing something. He then smacks on the back of the head with the weapon. 
It cuts the buyers waking up, tied with his hands and feet bound. Carmen then says, you all bully me, so I will now bully you. It then shows that, that was a stupid line. Face with a fire extinguisher. Again, the detail of the damage being done to Byers' face is immense. The audio then cuts out again, but for only five yeah. seconds. It then turns back on, but to a scream that didn't sound like it was coming from Byers. <laughs> it was a very loud, ear-piercing scream. It had the tone of a What kind of scream did I put in this reveal? I mean, this is just so weird. I mean, I, I think everyone's been saying, especially in my later videos, that they've gotten more silly, which is kind of a good mix. I wanted to be kind of serious at times, but kind of silly, because um, Santa's screams would be kind of like the realm scream when someone gets hurt or stabbed or something, which is what I did in one of my recent videos. Uh, that alone in the, the alone in the laundromat video I did, and this one I can't remember what the scream was. It was like that generic scream, and you hear when someone's being thrown off a cliff. I, I, I don't remember. This is last year. It's been almost a year, actually, from today, actually. Damn. The LA year. It was very faint, but then faded to a higher volume. It consisted of Carmen saying, I killed him. It comes to Carmen saying in the same voice, God, 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 I'm gonna be with God soon. God, what's God have to do with anything? Again, it's another thing that just comes out of nowhere. Don't get me wrong, I like this story a lot. And it really did chill me because of how far it went. And I really do thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it, but... I'm... That's a pretty good read there. Um... I, I, I tried my best to do the South Park kind of uh, characters, saying, Oh my god, Carmen, what did you do? But... It was really hard. I'm not, I'm not really good with the South Park kind of characters. I, I did my best, but I didn't have that much time to practice, so I just, I just winged it. Carmen walks to his kitchen cabinet. The scream's still being audible. He grabs lighter fluid. Where's his mom in all this? Where is his mom? Wondering. Oh, honey, I can imagine like this. Honey, what are you doing with that lighter fluid? Oh, I just, I just locked my friends out of the basement. I'm just gonna blow up the house and stuff. So you better get out of the house before you get blown up. Okay. Uh, just uh, make sure that they leave a mess. Except for his face. Of course, his mom makes it exactly the sharpest. face was full shot into his face. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, on the tile card, which you know. That like a uh, little detail face. with uh, Kyle's face Brian being just a skull. I just found a random black skull online, like one of those uh, drawings or whatever you want to call them. Like, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but I just found it online and just posted it over where his face or head was supposed to be because I didn't draw a head. That's where I put the skull over. Demonic! Are you sure you just? Are you sure you just don't need to clear the throat? <laughs> yeah, the story for the most part was pretty good, but then that's just demonic stuff. He's like, I riffed out now. I pulled out Nicholas Cage impersonation right there or some shit. I don't know. I'm doing something, or maybe a Schwarzenegger. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just acting crazy. I now reside with my mother. And, uh, if I had a chance to sure say this, I would record on the spot. Even if only, like, a part of it. I never stop thinking about it. You need more of a life, kid. You have less of a life than I do. That's all I have to say. One of my favorites? Go ahead and check it out. If you haven't, because, yeah, it's a little cliche here and there, but it's oddly enough, enjoy oddly enough it's enjoyable.